Hey, it's week 144 of Lip Friday. We are using the new backing track this week. It's the Slow Blues in G minor, I think it is. And the lick itself is relatively simple. Um, I think the thing that you need to do with this is try and get the dynamic right. So it's one of those things where the, the touch of your fingers and your plectrum is going to be uh, more important than sometimes the fretting of your left hand. But anyway, that is one thing that you can try and figure out for yourself as you go through. So I'm going to leave you now with the breakdown and the demonstration and then I'll play it slowly at the end. Remember the backing track, there's a two minute snippet at the end of this video and all your social media stuff if you're new is there and there. Follow the cards, there should be a card pop up to the website for your free PDF as well. Um, see you in a bit. Okay, so the breakdown, we've got eight on the fourth string, seven on the third, and sixth on the second string. And you're gonna do a nice quick rake. So, and the way I do that is I use hybrid picking. So I use my plectrum for the fourth string, middle finger for the third string, and my ring finger, that one, for the second string. Now what, that does is when you get to that second string because you've got a hammer on to the eighth fret after the sixth fret it gives you a nice pop like that so it's hard to do with trying to get there but anyway so you get so it's up to you how you do it you can do a nice little mini sweep it's, you know it's one of those things it's personal preference at the end of the day so just to give you those ideas if you are going to do hybrid and you're not used to it or you haven't tried it before just take it easy and maybe practice that by itself that'll be a good little technique to try and get used to um, so you've done the eight seven and six after you've done the six you're hammering on to the eighth fret second string pulling off back to the six picking the seven third string sliding down to the five pulling off to the three now as far as it's quite a, a stretch to get from that fifth fret to the third fret with your second finger to your first finger so if you wanted to um, you could try and do the slide with your third finger this is just the way I play it with my second but again one of those personal preference things do what you will and play it how you want so after you've done the slide down from the seven pull off to the three you're going to hammer on back to the five slide back up to the seven this is all on the third string and then whilst the seven is ringing so you've got to keep your third finger on that seventh fret you're going to pick the sixth fret on the second string and then give it a little bit of vibrato just to uh, finish the lick so I'll play the lick for you slowish, um, so you can hear it now. So two, four. So the hammer-ons and pull-offs, as I've said, are all just guides, and you can really just play it how you want. You could pick every note; it's entirely up to you. Whatever. What, uh, Whichever way you do play it, it's going to give you a different dynamic anyway. Um, but I think the thing with this one is just to try and keep it smooth, keep it even, and um, let it work really in a more mellow kind of way. Um, anyways, so there should be a card pop up for the website, which is just there. Um, and um, if, as you can see, it's just there anyway, but that's the link. So anyone who's new, there should be social media on screen, and the website details are all there for you to enjoy. So next week, week 145, um, we'll probably stay on this G minor one. I shall see you next week. Later. Oh, stay tuned for the backing track. Nice one. Bye. <laughs>